As you know, iOS 8 was just announced a few days ago. And if you're currently running on iOS 7 with a jailbroken device, and you want to have some of these new iOS 8 features, well, today in this video, I'm going to show you some Cydia tweaks that will achieve these new iOS 8 features. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's a new feature called Quick Type on iOS 8. Basically, in the middle of typing a word, it's going to predict what you're going to type. So this, of course, is going to save you some time and it's going to make you type a bit faster. Well, there's a Cydia tweak called Predictive Keyboard that you can download on your iOS 7 devices. It does pretty much the same thing. It's going to predict what you're going to type. It's going to give you three different word suggestions. So it's very similar to the iOS 8 quick type. Another feature on iOS 8 is the compatibility of third-party keyboards. So keyboard companies like Swipe, SwiftKey, and Flexi are starting to make keyboards for iOS 8. Well, you can download a few different keyboards in Cydia, and it's going to give you similar functionality as SwiftKey or Swipe. So one Cydia tweak which I really enjoy using is one of my favorite Cydia tweaks. It's called HipJot. It's a very nice keyboard. As you can see, you can swipe to type different words and sentences. Another tweak that's quite similar is called TouchPal. You can, of course, also download it in Cydia, and it does pretty much the same thing. One major feature on iOS 8 is, of course, the Quick Reply feature. After receiving a banner notification of a new message, you can simply swipe down to quickly reply to that person. Now, this, of course, isn't a new feature for jailbreak users. Byte SMS basically does the same thing, and it came out a few years ago. But the Cydia tweak that I prefer using is called Aki. You can quickly compose a new text, and of course, just like the iOS 8 feature, you can quickly reply to the message by pressing the reply button. And on iOS 8, you can do the same thing in your lock screen. But there's a much better Cydia tweak that displays information on your lock screen, and this is called Lock Info 7. So it shows a bunch of useful features on your lock screen, such as your weather, access your contacts, see your reminders, and a lot more. Finally, on iOS 8, you can add widgets to your device, but unfortunately not on your homepage. You can do it in your notification center. If you are familiar with Cydia and the jailbreak tweaks, you know that there are a bunch of notification center widgets in Cydia. You can just simply search it in Cydia. Tweaks like NC settings, SB settings, and NC weather are just some of the popular ones. Another small feature for iOS 8 is when you go into your multitasking switcher, right above all the application cards, you can see your favorite contacts. So after tapping on a contact, you have the option to message, FaceTime, or FaceTime voice chat. And a Cydia tweak that does the same thing is called Quick Contacts. You can simply swipe down on your homepage and you can see your four favorite contacts and you can call, message, or email them. So it's very similar to the iOS 8 uh, favorite contacts feature. And there's another feature on iOS 8 only for the iPhone 5S, which has to do with the Touch ID fingerprint sensor. So developers can now take advantage of the fingerprint sensor and integrate it to their applications. A Touch ID city tweak that I really enjoy using is called BioProtect. Basically, it protects different applications using your Touch ID fingerprint sensor. You can configure different applications in settings, and for certain applications, you have to use your fingerprint to access this app. So it's a very cool Cydia tweak. Definitely check it out if you have an iPhone 5S. So this pretty much concludes my video talking about some of the iOS 8 features that you can achieve with Cydia tweaks. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And leave a comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in my next video.